In this video, we will talk about measures of central tendency for simple series. We'll also solve a problem for their implementation. Most of the data sets show a well-determined tendency to place or agglomerate a central point to any specific set of information, and some typical value we can select to describe it. The measures of central tendency that are frequently used are the mean, the median, and the mode, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. To explain how each is calculated, we will solve the following example. An airline wants to determine the total worth of tickets sold for 15 consecutive weeks. In order for this to occur, it will make use of the measures of central tendency for the corresponding descriptive statistical analysis. The airline provides the following information for this analysis that includes the amount sold in dollars on airline tickets every week. In this example, we see that the total numbers of data correspond to a simple series. So, now let's begin with the most frequently used measure of central tendency, which is the mean. The mean is also known as average or arithmetic mean. It is calculated from the sum through the observations of the data set, divided by the total numbers in the set. It is represented by the following formula. Now, we're going to replace the formula with the information we already have, and we say that mean is equal to the sum of the amounts of dollars in tickets sold, and then divided by the total numbers of weeks, which in this case is 15. As a result, this defines the mean as $8,005.21. The next measure of central tendency is the median, which is defined as the central position of the middle. Number in a data set, to calculate the median, we organize the data set from the least to greatest is shown in the table below. At simple size, we can realize what the total number in the set is as an impact number, which is why we use the following formula. Median in us equal to in plus 1 divided by 2 where n it has the total number on the set. Now we replace the in for the total number of data is plus 1 divided by 2. We obtain that median it has the data that occupies the position 8 as shown in the table organized from the least to greatest. So if we obtain the median that is a dozen forty-four worth eighty-eight cents. Another measure of central tendency is the mode. The mode is the number that appears most frequently in a data set. A data set cannot have the mode if none of the values numbers appears more frequently. Therefore, when each number in our set appears only once, then there is no more. Geometric mean. To find the geometric mean, we multiply all the numbers together and then we calculate the n root, where n represents the total number of the data set. When replace the formula, we we'll have the geometric mean. $6,056.36 Harmonic mean It is the inverse or reciprocal of the mean. The formula is as follows The corresponding graph to represent simple series could be a bar graph or a circular graph. For this example, we're going to use a bar graph. So we can conclude at the end of this example that in 15 consecutive weeks, the airline sold 120 thousand seventy-eight dollars with 14 cents on an average of eight thousand five dollars with 21 during 15 weeks, experiencing the most sales in the 13th week and the fewest numbers of sales in the 9th week.